Now at noon, a JSO police officer recovering after being shot outside a home on the west side. That shooting led to a 20-mile police chase that ended when the shooter crashed on the Danes Point Bridge. Jen then jumped off the bridge. Police found his body a short time later. We first brought you this story as breaking news on the morning show. So this all started when JSO says that man broke into a home on Old Middleburg Road. That's where JSO says he shot the police officer, then took off. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews joins us live. And Brianna, you spoke with a neighbor who lived in the area for two decades. The neighbor I spoke with lives just a few houses away and says she knows the family who lives inside this home. She says her grandkids and the kids who live here used to play together. She acts not to be on camera, but says she was shocked when she found out what happened. We kind of knew something had happened late last night when we saw the commotion with the cops and stuff, you know, because the lights running around the neighborhood. But when I actually heard it this morning in the news, it was when I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, and there was an actual shootout. Did you hear anything? Nothing. That's the thing. I didn't hear, we didn't hear no shots or nothing. Officers say they were ambushed when approaching the home around 1050 last night, which led to the shooting. The officer shot had on a bulletproof vest, which may have saved their life. They were taken to the hospital and later released, but suffers from serious bruising. Things escalated even further after the shootout. Police say the man stole a vehicle driving at least 20 miles towards the Dames Point Bridge. While driving, police say the man shot at the officers again. Eventually, the man crashed a vehicle at the side of the bridge, hopping out and jumping into the river. Police say they saw him swim and then disappear. At around 3 this morning, police recovered his body and a gun near the bed of the river. Police confirmed that the man is dead. And investigators have been out here collecting evidence for hours. It's still a pretty active crime scene with multiple uh, police units here. And you also can look and see investigators right there in front of the home canvassing the area. Now, if anyone has any information, it's urgent to call Crime Stoppers. Remember, you can remain anonymous. Now, as we learn more details, we'll have all the information on air and online. But for now, though, I'm reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.